what's, uh, what's it been like getting back on the field after uh, you know, what you went through a year ago? Yeah, um, it feels good to be back on the field. You know, I just miss this, miss the bond with my teammates. Um, you don't really just get this feeling with nobody else, and it's a great feeling. You know, I just give all glory to God just to be back. How tough was that to go through? Um, it was very tough. Um, you know, just dealing with an injury, coming in, expecting, you know, things. You know, everything doesn't turn out how it's supposed to be. So I just really kept my faith in everything that I was doing, and um, I just got through it and prevailed with God. It's been the process like like working with uh, Coach Emmett. Oh, the process has been real great. Uh, he drops gems all the time. Um, he's he's funny too sometimes. I like Coach Jones, but you know he just gives us wisdom and knowledge all the time. You know, just stuff that's relatable to us. Any of those that you can share? Um, yes, he just said um, when you're on the field, this is basically like your job. So um, take it serious every day, and you know you'll get rewarded in the end. I think one of the first things that comes up with him is just development as a receiver. What what is it about him and the way that he teaches the game that you think will help? I would say technique, and he like knickknacks at little bitty things that you really wouldn't see in your own game. You know, he just helps us develop into like whole receivers overall, and I really like that about him. Anything specific with your game that he's tweaked a little bit here? I know it's pretty early. But... Yes, um, just staying low, using my size always. You know, not exposing the chest area, just always playing at a great, you know, body level. Was that something he came in having identified in, in your game, pursuing the study and all that? Yes, it was um, really pad level and stance as well. You know, those are the two things he emphasizes a lot. So, you know, I like him a lot. What's been your impression so far of uh, Jackson Hunter? He's a great. He's going to be a good quarterback. You know, coming in, you know, get a ready player of the year. I like him as a freshman and stuff. Um, you know, coming in, he has a lot to learn still, but that's just the process of being great, and I can't wait to see how he does. What about just the way that he's he's carried himself and also the relationship that he's built with Dylan? Yeah, he has a lot of poise as a freshman coming in. Um, their relationship is very great. You know, they're just like brothers all the time. When you see them, they're always having fun, and it's always just a good time with them. With the turnover, obviously your position, Marvin and Theo, no longer here. Does it feel like there's a pretty big opportunity for yourself here to kind of carve into a big role this coming season? Um, I believe so. Um, I just have to work for it at the end of the day. You know, I never promised myself anything. Everything comes from hard work. So, What was it about OU that drew you here when you were uh, you know, going through that process of transferring? Um, it was like a brotherhood when I first came here. I just felt the energy. Um, Coach Venables had a lot to do with that as well. I just loved everything he preached about, and um, I just knew he was a man that was really serious about everything that he said, and it really meant something to me. What stuck out about Andrew so far? And a little bit you've been around him and gotten to see him out here a little bit. Yeah, that's my guy, Andrew. He can run. So, y'all DVs, I'm not, I won't say too much, but yeah, Andrew, <laughs> he's going to be special, man. So, yeah, we got a lot of guys that could, you know, be great and take the top off the defense. So.